I've recently been experimenting with these reusable agar pots and they are really good but the issue is they're just so cumbersome and they seem to be taking up all the space in my flat. I did a bit of shopping around and came across these that look absolutely perfect as they're half the height of the original ones. I use a ratio of 2 grams agar powder and 2 grams light malt extract powder to 100 ml of water. I decided on 300 ml of filtered water to fill up 6 of the new pots. This was then transferred to a stainless steel cup that I could use on the hob. I added the agar powder to the water, then measured out the light malt extract and then also added that to the water. I made sure to only add the powders to cold water, otherwise everything clumps together. I began to heat everything to dissolve the powders. I had to transfer the liquid into a different cup because the one I was using actually had melted plastic on the bottom from when I previously tried using it as a makeshift iron. Don't ask me why. After burning my hand, I put the liquid back into the measuring jug so it was ready to pour into the pots. After filling all six of the new pots, I realised I overestimated the amount of agar liquid I needed. So I just filled up one of the old pots and a jar that was also at hand. I used foil to protect the pots, wrapping them at the same standard that I gift wrap items. Now that they're disguised as an Indian takeaway, they can go into the pressure cooker. And I discover that I don't actually have space for everything that I've poured. But this isn't an issue because I'm sure you wanted to see me transferring more liquids between containers anyway. With the jar now emptied into the larger pot, it was now put in disguise and into the pressure pot. Too lazy to walk to the sink, I just filled the pressure cooker with what was left in my water bottle. I secure the lid and I set it to meat for 40 minutes. I leave the valve open until it gets up to temperature. In the meantime, I play with this probably contaminated liquid culture. Once the 40 minutes is up, I remove them from the pressure cooker as soon as possible because any radiating heat will keep any small particles away from them while I'm working. Though of course the best thing about this method is the fact that the pots are so hot I can barely hold on to them and it turns out to be an absolute shit show when I'm trying to wrap them. Once all the pots are sealed up with grafting tape, I put them back in the boil and let them cool down and solidify. And there we go, my new petri dishes are all complete and generally I'll just store these in the fridge along with my singed fingertips. I hope you enjoyed that video and let me know what I should do with this one.